Cavalier Fan 1995 here, here at the uh, place of uh, Chillicothe High School football. Uh, today is a day that they're uh, tearing down uh, the stadium and we're going to be building a new one. And uh, Tommy, if you could uh, move it over to the uh, around you, turn around. Uh, you can see that uh, they are getting ready to tear down the press box here. Uh, right now they're doing... Uh, uh, they're they're sawing off the uh, the blue uh, section as you can see the guy doing there, and when they do that and uh, the crane that you see, the crane is actually holding it uh, so it doesn't uh, fall down, fall backwards. Uh, but uh, here in a little bit we will get the video of that, and when that happens, go ahead and come back around here. When that happens, we'll be able uh, we'll be, be able to put it on the uh, on the YouTube uh, website. Uh, Cavalier Fan 1995, and also we're going to be in the future uh, during the summer. We're going to be doing some uh, uh, some uh, talk about the uh, stadium, how it's going to look, how it's going to be, um, and every week we're actually going to do a video of how they're doing and where they're at in the process. Um, so for right now, uh, getting ready to tear down the press box as we speak, and when uh, when that happens, we'll have it filmed. Cavalier Fair 1995, guys take it easy. And as you can see, Charlie's hooked up to the machine. The machine's grabbing it. You got a lot. I got your back right there. There we go. Tighten it up. Tighter. One more. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, yeah. It's coming. Handrail spinning. That's what I told you, remember? Remember? Mm -hmm. Those handrails are going to break. There it comes! Whoa! There you go, folks. Alright. There it is. There she blows. And it's down, folks. Yeah. All recorded. 100% recorded. Down for the count. What's up, everybody? Cavalier Fan 1995 with Tangzilla. And uh, Tangzilla67, right? Yeah. On the YouTube. And I am Cavalier Fan 1995 on the YouTube as well. What you guys just saw was a very, very great piece of. Uh, Video, uh, Tommy, go or uh, Tank. Hey, been there since the seventies. <laughs> Ain't there no more. Down it came. Yep. And I tell you what, you couldn't get the full effect on the camera, but when it went down, the ground shook. Yep. It was a. It was. It was. We were right there. Um, we couldn't go any further than what we wanted to uh, because uh, we were behind these uh, these uh, fence posts. And, and oh, uh, by the way, the guys at Sunrush uh, Construction, thank you very much for letting us uh, come there and film it. Um, on the other side, though, Tommy, we had some other people on the other side, like uh, some, some people that were uh, neighbors and stuff that were filming and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool, too. Yeah, they stopped by and got a few, uh, few minutes of it, and uh, they got it coming down. And I'm sure, I'm sure they're trying to post it on their side, but we got the one side. And it's much better than what Horizon View has. Sorry, Horizon View, but your camera 
just can't get that footage. Right, and and for those of uh, you who aren't aren't known around these parts, um, Horizon View is a um, telephone company uh, who also does cable as well, and uh, kind of like uh, kind of like the rivalry of Time Warner here in uh, here in Chillicothe. So anyway, uh, they actually have a camera or a uh, web camera. Uh, over at Worthington High School, which is not far from where the stadium is, and uh, they actually were trying to get some some video. And I'm sure they got plenty of video of the front part of the stadium when they're taking down the the C section and the B section and the A section. I'm sure, they got plenty of that, but it's from a distance. And I've heard, I've heard from a few people that have looked at it that it looks so far away that the people on the field look like ants. Exactly. So okay. this footage we got you. Right on spot. It was right up and in your face, and you could feel. And when you and and again, as you watched it, you felt you felt when that thing came down, and you heard the boom, and you heard the it, it smash, and all that. And our reactions was was like, whoa, that was pretty cool. I mean, we've never been to like, you know, we've never seen stadiums where they have to implode them because of all the, you know, because there'll be collateral damage, of course, if they just you know did it straight up right but this right here was it was up in your face but at the same time you got a great look at at something that's very high up and by the way we have photos of me on the crow's nest as you saw at the top of that that was the crow's nest where uh video people go film uh photo you know guys in the uh, photos and stuff go up there and take some really great photos but um, I was up there, I think it was like, what, the day before this yeah, happened? Yeah, day before. This happened, and we ended up uh, doing, uh, you know, I went up there, and I gave the 2C sign, and um, therefore, uh, I, I can actually say now that I was up there before this came down. I'll tell you, the thing about it is people will probably ask, why? Why would you want to spend that time out there in the sun waiting mm -hmm. for it to come down? Well, because it's history. Right. That thing's been there since the 70s. Okay. The, the press box was there in the... Ninth, in it, uh, they actually put a press box there in the 1970s, early 70s. But the, the building itself, I mean, the stadium itself was built in the 40s. So you knew as time went along, there was going to be a lot of wear and tear. Um, even though Chillicothe is a small town um, and... We got, you know, there's like other buildings and stuff here that are very historic and they, they, they try to bring those back to the way they used to be. And with the, the stadium, when, back in January, you know, we were going to talk about this, this stadium, about how this whole started. And if we can, we can give like a condensed version of this. Back in January, this guy right here called me and said, did you hear what's going to go down? And I said, no. He said, they are talking about building a new stadium. I went online, I went to the uh, radio website, and it was official. It was like a day later. It was official that they were going to do this. And um, the, the way it started, the donation that started it, was half a mil? Was it half a mil or something like that? They had almost $500,000 from other pledges. Mm. And then Tim Harris, 1974 graduate, who lives in Indiana, owns an auto dealership, came in and gave a half a million dollars for the project, and that's what sparked it completely going through. But I want to tell you guys, anybody watching this, they need more, mm. and they're always welcome to take anything you can give them. Right. You know, we're talking like we're talking a dollar. Five bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, it, whatever. And I mean, these guys are going to do whatever it takes to. And, and like me and me and Tank here, we we love going to football games. Now they're gonna now they're gonna be built for soccer and also lacrosse. And lacrosse is coming on in a big way in this town, especially for the for the girls. And uh, I think it's really cool that we got these three sports going to be on this field. And think about not only our sports, but other sports. We're talking playoff football. I mean, we. I. It went back to 1986, I believe. That was the last time we ever hosted a playoff game. Not Chillicothe Cavaliers, but for for like maybe another division. Fisher Catholic, and of course with Notre Dame. Right. They had a playoff game here. 
And that was pretty much the last time. Of course, we did have the All-Star Game here once. I worked it. And that was back in 1999, and... The thing about it is, I want to challenge the class of 85. Anybody that watches this from the class of 85, even if you give a dollar, right? you know, at least it'll be some money. And if all the other classes that are still alive and still around, give a dollar. Right, and we're just talking just a dollar, it, you know... We're talking a great donation here. We're talking um, a great stadium. This could be one of the best stadiums in the South Central Ohio area. Let me tell you this, okay? This is what's going to happen. Phase one, the new bleachers, which are 210 feet right. long and very high, okay? They're going to be twice as high in the middle. On the side, it's going to go up to the light pole. Now, they're gonna, they can't redo the track because they just don't have enough right now. They're going to redo the field. It's going to have drainage in it. It's going to be top of the line. Right. And the thing about it is they're going to move the scoreboard to the north end. They're going to put a big TV on top of it, show replays and stuff, and have a good time. Phase two is going to be moving the field house to the Arch Street side. And put the entrance and the restrooms and everything. It's going to be awesome. I mean, when they, they get enough money to finish this, we're going to be the number one, number one high school stadium in this area. You're talking about, you know, you know Tank, we always talk about the other stadiums. We, we've been to a lot of other stadiums, especially in the high school areas. We're talking Jackson, Portsmouth. They, they we're talking years ago, they decided um, to do kind of what we're doing now, and that was take donations and say, hey, you know, we, we have a nice little football field and all that good stuff. And, you know, Jackson was very small because me and you, we went there, and it was real small. And um, then, of course, it was not too long ago that they got the new stadium, and it went up on the hill. And we kind of looked at it and said, you know what, if we could do something like this, this would be nice. Portsmouth did the same thing. A lot of good history in Portsmouth. Um, one, they're our rivals. And two, that we, uh, me being a, a football player myself, back in 1993, uh, got to go to the old stadium, to the old uh, uh, Port of Trojan Stadium. And it was, it was beautiful. It was old school. And um, then, of course, as time went along, um, they were talking about moving to downtown. And so that way it's, it's best for everybody. And... Uh, again, we've never been to their stadium, but we have been to the Jackson Stadium. And Portsmouth, though, would be a real treat for us to, if we could go down there this year, to uh, see it. I mean, Waverly, Wellston, they got lucky. You know, they got support from ESPN and all these people. We right. don't get that support. We had Garen Barris as AD. That was our one and only chance to get the major support. And, of course, he left because things weren't working out for him here. Now, William Brown now is our AD, and he's doing a good job, but we need more support. Right. I mean, come on. I know things are tough. They're tough for me. They're tough for him. But I tell you what, just give what you can. Help out. We can get this project finished, and I promise you this. If you have any young kids who want to play soccer, who want to play lacrosse, who want to play football, that field going to be number one. Right. And we're going to have people coming all from all over the places wanting to use the field. And it's going to be awesome. But we need to get it finished so it's finished. Completely done. And when it's completely done, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be, the, it's going to be one of the nicest fields you've ever seen. We were actually looking up some stadiums not too long ago. Um, one, one that kind of, kind of uh, came out of this was, uh, was, uh, was Massillon, Ohio. Uh, Masculine Tigers, they um, have this really nice stadium, and then you kind of looked at it and said, that's kind of what we're going to be, what we're going to have. Yeah. And um, again, the seating, the seating of this is going to be really nice. It's going to be, I believe, what, uh, 20 to 20? 20 yards? 20 yards? About both. 15 yard line to 15 yard line from, right. Right from Mr. Murphy. Right, and so um, lights are going to be on either side. And I believe they're going to keep them in the back. They're going to keep them in the back, and they're going to arrange the. They're going to bring the bleachers up to the to the lights. 
in the, on both sides. Right. And then in the middle, it's going to go even higher in the press box, which is going to be 180 feet long. That, that is like the size of, say, a college, like a, like a college stadium. Um, you're talking, um, you know, almost, almost what Jackson looks like. I mean, you know, we, we always bring up Jackson, but that was kind of, you know, in South Central Ohio, that was kind of the litmus test. You know, it was like, could we be better than Jackson? Um, man, look at look at that look at that uh, look at that man. You know, because I mean, the first time we went there, man, it was like, look at that, look at that, look. I mean, it was crazy. But anyway, uh, whatever donations you guys can give, dollar, two bucks. I mean, it does not matter. I mean, we're always look. They're always looking for more donations, and if you can, please do it and and bring this. I mean, we this is this is reality. This is we brought this stadium to reality because of guys like um, um, Greg Corzine, yeah, uh, the, the Cavalier Club, the Touchdown Club, all those guys. They worked hard. They worked hard to get this process done. And I thank them. I thank them every day because if it wasn't for them, this thing would still be the way it is, and we still would be the lousiest field in this Central Ohio, Southern Ohio area. Right. The thing is, is that you talk about all the, the people that have come and have donated, and we talk about Sunrush. These guys brought, had the lowest bid. And I don't, you know, when you take, you know, when you when you get construction companies, um, you're you're always you think, oh my goodness, they're going to want so much money. Not Sunrush. Sunrush actually is from here. They're local here, and said, here's how much we're going to do it for, and they were going to recycle all the uh, all the stuff that came down. Yeah, everything that comes down would be recycled. Those concrete, the rebar, the glass, you know, all the fiber stuff will all be recycled. They'll be taken up to the recycling plant where it will be recycled and used back in the thing. It's not going to go into a landfill. No. It's not going to be waste. No. It's going to be recycled, which is why they gave us the lowest bid because of being able to take this stuff and recycling it. Now, when the new stands start to get up, and we start to build them, which is going to be next week. We're going to get footage of it. Right. And we're going to bring you footage of them putting the new stands up so you can see exactly what they look like, exactly how they're going to be. And when they put the new press box up, we'll be there to watch them put it up in the video. Right. And, and again, here, right here on Cavalier Fan 1995, you're going to see the, the I guess, the, the apex of the stadium. I mean, we are going to go... As, as far as they let us to go in there because we want to be respectful to the construction company and we also want to be respectful to um, uh, Mr. Murphy mm -hmm. and also to, uh, uh, to the school as well. The, the idea is, is to give you guys an in-depth look as this stadium gets built from the turf that's coming in to the stands to everything and just to let you guys know, Tom and myself, we were football players before we, I mean, we're not just, this isn't our first barbecue here, okay? This, we were football players at that, at, at that school. Me in 93, I believe you were in 84. Yeah, I played for a little while, my knees. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, um, then he became an usher, and then in 1997, I believe, I, or 98, 97, 98, I became an usher as well, and then... Uh, later on, uh, he retired, and uh, so then we started coming to the games. And then we started going uh, whenever they had buses. I remember when they had buses that would take us to the games, um, and hopefully the bus thing. That's another point. Um, I'm in the process of talking to the, the, the transit system. i got to call them and talk to this woman, Julie, who now runs it, and see if they can get a charter bus and how much it would cost. Now, if anybody else has any inclination about you know getting a bus or getting a thing because they're closer this year we don't have to go very far the farthest we go is big big walnut right you know pretty much and that's in that's in sunbury ohio so and and of course portsmouth is uh what an hour yeah hour south so. it'd be nice to have a bus to take people instead of driving your car instead of doing that i mean get together call the call the tabular club you know tell me you're interested in it you know help out any way you can because you know there's a lot of people that can't go to the games and the thing about it, if I can convince the train system to do charters, then you would have wheelchair access. Right. 
you'd be able to get the elderly on there, you'd be able to get wheelchairs on there. The big buses have wheelchair access, and they can put four wheelchairs in one bus. So, you know, we have room, we can do it, but we just need support. We need people to come up and say, yeah, I want to go to the game, but I don't want to drive to the game. Right. And get the bus. And and again, the bus thing, it would be, it would be a beautiful thing because you're talking fans that would, I mean, we would pack, I mean, back in the day when we used to have these buses, I mean, the, the fan, the, our stands would be packed. And even though we were um, in the Southeast Ohio Athletic League, uh, we, were, we were going to places like uh, Logan and uh, uh, Jackson. Uh, but believe it or not, our last bus trip that me and him took was uh, Marietta. And that's a pretty far, that's far away. Yeah. That's like, I mean, you're going towards West Virginia. But um, anyway, um, um, 17 minutes, I know. <laughs> but anyway, but this is the reason why we came here and we're showing you the video of them tearing it down. Now, next week, we're going to have video of uh, some more tearing down. Uh, also, we're going to be doing some on-location stuff as well, uh, thanks to Tank. Uh, with his camera and uh, taking some pictures, taking some photos, and we're going to do some video as well. And again, we want to let you guys know that, that all summer long we're going to be doing this. And um, Tank, if, if, and Tank if, if, if I'm not there, he'll do it. And if he can't do it, then I will do it and just get pictures and get, and get video and whatnot. See what I'm willing to do. Look at this. I'm all burned up. <laughs> I'm not Dude, wearing this we, one two days. We we were. I mean, we yesterday it was it was it was nice outside, but it was but the sun was just like I mean it was like in your face. Um, I'm burned. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm pretty burned in the face. And uh, yeah, so we. But again, you 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 ask yourself why do we do this? Well, we went to this school. We played football for this school. We. Uh, we go we go to the Friday night games on a, on a daily basis and so with that we just we just love doing this and plus this is this is something that never happens and, and you know like 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 when you build a stadium I can remember when when um, um, Cincinnati the Cincinnati Reds when they got their new stadium you being a Philly fan when you when they got when you got the new stadium there um, mixed reactions there was mixed reactions, you know. Um, uh, you look at the, 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 the stadiums back in the day, cookie cutter. They were all cookie cutter. Phillies was. I, my team, you know, his team was, my team was. We were, we were all in that cookie cutter type of uh, environment. But then the new era was, was the complex, was the building of complexes. And... You know, um, I believe yours is uh, Bank Bell. It's um, uh, yeah, B BP like or something like that. Yeah, BP like Park and Great American Mall Park. And you see those stadiums every time, and you say, "Wow, look at this!" And of course, when we now we get in this stadium, we're going to be among the few that's going that people are going to go, "Wow, look at this place!" Yeah, it shouldn't have took so long. <laughs> I really shouldn't have took so long. Yeah. People just sat on their laurels. I mean, I can't afford to help out. You know, I help out wherever I can. Right. Whatever I can. But I tell you what, there's a lot of people out there that stand on their walls and say there's nothing wrong with the field, there's nothing wrong with the space seats and stuff. But I've seen the inside, underneath the concession stand. You've seen the inside of the bathrooms, bricks falling apart. Right. And and again, it isn't it funny that when um, the stadium did get did get passed. Um, uh, Dan Ramey of uh, 1490 WBEX, who we are, are going, hopefully gets to watch this, you know. So um, he was the one that took, I believe it was it him that took the pictures, or was it uh, was it the uh, cousins? I think it was cousins that took the pictures. Right. And they put them on their website. And you and and in those pictures, and they're still there on the website. You can see, you go to 1490 or WBEX.com, you can see, and go to Cavs on Bex, you can actually see. Where the building, where parts of, of uh, uh, the bricks or you know the mortar or whatever was was coming off, the the the, the I mean it. I mean it the was hallways just, were separating at the top. Yeah, I mean, come on. 
they're falling. It was falling apart. I mean, it's got rebar in it and everything, but it was going to be too long before a big chunk of it just fell on somebody's head. Right, and 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 because of that, and then you know, you had everybody looking at it, going, "Yeah, this this really needs to be taken down and redone." I mean, talk about this is the, the for for a stadium. This is the ultimate facelift for Hernstein Field. I tell you what, I really, really thank Tim Harris. If you ever see this, I don't know if you ever see this, but I really thank you for your donation. And I thank all the other people that helped out in the other donations. Because, you know, without you guys, this thing would never get started. Right. Now, but we need other people come in and help out. We need them desperately. I mean, come on. You get this done, get this finished, you have something to be proud about. Your kids have something to be proud about to play on. Right. I mean, come on. The field's going to be great. Stands are going to be awesome. We just need to get the rest of it finished, and we get it done. It's going to be the. It's going to be the. It's going to be top top grade. It, I mean, we we talked about having playoff games, not just Chillicothe. And if we don't make the playoffs, you, me and the big guy, man, we want to go see some playoff games, man, especially in Chillicothe, because you know uh, us being in Division Three, and uh, it would be cool to see a couple of the, uh, like a Division Two game or a Division One game, you know, come down there. And, um, you know, for us to have a stadium like that and to have uh, the Athletic Association of Ohio say, yeah, we want you guys. We will, you guys, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do it. Let's, let's, let's play it in Chillicothe. And, you know, because, uh, you know, what if Waverly, you know, Waverly's not far from us. What if Waverly and, uh, and uh, Vinton County, what if those two teams got to play each other? I mean, boom, you put it in Chillicothe. And not only do you get the, 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 the Benton County fans, which is not far away from here, and the Waverly fans, which are not far away from here, they come to Chillicothe, they they get a you know, they you're gonna get a you're gonna get a great field, lots of stands, lots of you know, support, and you're gonna get a lot and that's gonna be one of the reasons. I mean, not only just about football but soccer, lacrosse. I mean, let's, it's just, let's just say, let's just end this with, with this. Five reasons to want to have the field done and completed. First reason is respect. Right. We don't get any respect from people around here. They, they look at our field and they don't give us any respect. Two, bringing students from other schools who want to take advantage of the field to our school back again. Instead of going to Union Yoda's Atrix, I'm nothing against you guys, but I'd like to have our kids back. Our Chillicothe High School kids. Three, we will get, no doubt, we will get playoff games. We will get special events. Mm -hmm. People will want to come. Not only just football, soccer, lacrosse. People will want to come and play on the field. And how I talk about the track and field thing. I mean, the track and field, they can't finish, they can't surface the track right, right. now because they just don't have enough. Right. But if you would give, it would be resurfaced, and I'm telling you, it will be better. It will be all weather, and it will be beautiful. Yeah, and and think about this: you've got um, these these big time uh, track and field events, especially during the summertime. Um, think about that, you know, um, because a lot of other uh, schools uh, get to have those big events because of the way their stadium looks and how many can it hold and stuff like that. But on that note, next week we are going to uh, bring you more of the teardown and more of uh, more updates. And uh, also, we will be back here, back in back in this room, to give you guys updates and and everything else. And remember, this is your one-stop shop for Chillicothe High School football. And Hopefully you guys will come on here and leave some comments, leave some, uh, you know, whatever. Just leave a comment. Good, bad, mixed, I don't care. Because this is Chillicothe High School football. And this is why, I mean, we're not just talking football. We're talking soccer and lacrosse. I want to hear from the soccer fans. I want to hear from the lacrosse fans, track and field. I want to hear from all of you. And remember, this is your, this is not just mine. Not just tanks. This is Cavalier Nation right here. I don't think anybody has ever said that. Hmm. Cavalier Nation. This is Cavalier Nation right here. So with that, 
Cavalier Fan 1995. Take it all 67. And we will see you guys next week. Till then, have a good weekend. Stay safe.